Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and I'm playing Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG, Catalyst Chapter. Today I'm going to try to take on the Shinigami with my regular characters instead of with my super characters, just to prove in video form that it can be done. So here we have our regulars. And let's jump right into it. This is my second attempt. In my first attempt, I lasted two rounds before all my characters died. Some of them revived, but it was a very bad start. Probably the worst part of this is the fact that all of my characters go after the Shinigami rather than before her. In contrast to some of my regular uh, strategy, I'm going to use instant death protection with Lime the first turn. Hmm. Looks like she used an attack that hit three of my characters and knocked them down to one hit point. Luke and Sonya's walls failed to come up. But the reflection is on, and so is the instant death protection, so that's a bonus. Luca knows some white magic, so I'm going to have him do a healing spell. It'll heal all my characters. Elias, good job with the reflection. Put up a wall. Sonia. Well, there's really nothing you can do. And since Lime got our instant death protection up, well, uh, this, this just isn't fair. If this is what I think it is, yeah. I have a bit of life because Luke and Sonya did the healings after they got knocked down to one hit point. But Lime will probably not have her wall up. Let's turn the message speed back down. Hmm. So I have no walls, but I do have reflection. And instant death protection. Having walls up is very important, so let's see if we can do this. Uh, this is this has good points and bad points to it. That, that was her move that give, afflicts all of your party members with confusion. Fortunately, two of my characters were able to evade it, but Sonya and Lime are stuck down there. So Luca and Elias have walls up, which is very good. Unfortunately, the Reflect is worn off. And Luca doesn't have instant death protection because he's already died once. Sonia doesn't have instant death protection either. So... Oh, this is so frustrating. Let's see if I can get Lime back in the game. I need instant death protection. I really do. And let's put Reflection back on. Okay, Sonia just got herself killed. I don't think she'll be able to resurrect herself at this point. Yeah, she's gone. But I have a reflection up. Hopefully the Shinigami will decide to waste a turn or two and let me, you know, do things that keep me alive. Lucas' priority is going to be getting people alive. Elias's priority is reflecting car and having reflecting walls up. Actually,
Yeah, reflecting walls for Elias. Lime. I don't think Lime has a wall. No, she doesn't. That is most definitely needed. If Elias and Lime are still alive, they can survive safely. Luke and Sonya are icing on the cake for this first phase of the battle. Ha, huh, I have reflection. You have just wasted your turn and done a bunch of damage to yourself besides. Oh, that's good news. That's good news. Lime has a wall. Luca probably has a wall. It's hard to keep track of all the things I do and don't have. But Sonia is alive. Which is good news. Elias is getting into her thing of reflect and wall every other turn. Lime is protected for most things. So let's get instant death protection for Luca and Sonia. Well, there goes Sonia again. Alright, instant death protection for Luca, at least. That's better than nothing. So Luca has a wall up now. That's good. I could actually send him moderately safely into attack mode, but I want Sonia up as well. I mean, the more the merrier. Now we're going to get confusion protection. That was something that was protected by walls and death immunity. Alright, now my characters are properly immune, and if I can get Sonya up and running, things will be very good for me. Alright, Luca. For the moment, things are working, so you're going on attack. This will hopefully get Sonya with a wall and a... and all her protections up. No, of course not. It hits Sonia because she doesn't have Reflect. Okay, Luca is in attack mode, so he is not going to resurrect Sonia. But this is a space where Elias actually has a bit of discretion. She will resurrect Sonia. Actually, I'm going to do it with white magic. Save those Phoenix Downs. Alright, another attack on Luca, protected by a wall and death resistance. Sony is alive and has SP regen, which is good, but right now, Luca is ready to do some damage. Being transformed and having the guaranteed crits is going to make his damage actually pretty good for a regular sized character. Yes, good job resurrecting, but get that reflection up, we need it. Lime has gone a long while without re refreshing her wall, so I'm going to do that instead of giving Sonia death protection. I'm glad I made that choice. The Shinigami decided to kill Sonia again. And since she goes well before Lime, nothing Lime could have done would have helped. I may just have to do this with only one 
attack character. If Luca does about 27,000 damage, that means I only have to do that round about 12 times. Okay, one more attack, and then Reflect is about to wear off, and Confusion Protection with Lime. Yep, Luca's transformation just ran out, which means his guaranteed crits also ran out. So if I tried to do it again, it would do damage, but probably maybe one-fifth of what it was before. In any case, this also means he's gone five turns without refreshing his wall, which can be dangerous. Here I'm going to summon Phoenix with Elias instead of using a Phoenix down. Or white magic. I basically have my choice, but... Okay. Ha, ah, sucker! Now, with Phoenix getting cast, Sonya will come back to life. As well as... I... Elias got to do a piddling amount of damage to the Shinigami. Alright. Sonia got the... what Lime did after Elias resurrected her. I believe that was regeneration of SP. Which isn't ideal, but... Beggars can't be choosers, and I'm seriously begging here. Reflect for Elias. Sonia, make a wall, and Lime... Yeah, Lime will set up her wall again as well. I don't know how the Shinigami just knows to attack Sonya every time. Wait a minute. I think I do know why she knows to attack Sonya every time. In my setup video I told you about the appeal and hind abilities I applied to some of my characters. Specifically in order to make my attackers get attacked more often. Especially in the early phase when I'm setting up so that my support characters, Elias and Lime, can get their buffs on. So, the Shinigami, when she attacks a single character, will usually pick Sonia or Luka. And I've had bad luck that she's picked Sonia as often as she has. But Luka's about ready for another round of killing stuff. Elias is going to set up the wall again because I try to keep it such that I can casting that every three or four or five turns. Five turns max. I definitely don't want to give her the chance to run my wall out and kill a character. Yeah, another confusion. The characters that are alive are immune to it. Alright, Luca is doing damage again. Elias does Carbuncle. The next turn, Elias will have the chance to cast Phoenix instead of her usual. Walls and Death Protection protected me from that. Okay, Phoenix cast to resurrect Sonia, and looks like she'll get a booster ink at the end of the round. That was pretty good damage. Luca may have the ability on that boosts his damage somewhat when other party members are dead. But nonetheless, having a second attacker would be much preferable to having Luca with a slight 
buff. Alright, round two with Luca. Get Reflect back on. Cast a wall for once, Sonia. And it's time for Lime to refresh her wall as well. Nope, Sonia dies. Wait. Oh! That's right, in my defensive abilities, I've equipped an ability that reflects magic attacks 30% of the time. So sometimes it will reflect, you know, spontaneously. Sonia has survived and has a wall up and reflect, which means I need to protect her from instant death and confusion and she'll be good to go. Oh, this feels good. Luca has one more round of this. Elias refreshes her wall, and Sonia... Everything's ready to go for her. Actually, in the king techniques, since Sonia is a ho ho right now, she has king techniques, at the very bottom you have this that refreshes the revive. I started the battle with revive from my abilities, but uh, that once you revived, it's gone forever. But in the king techniques, you can get a new one. Alright, death protection for everybody. Alright, that should have death on it, but it did not hit Sonya this time. That's the end of Luca's DPS for the turn. From now on, he and Sonia will be in lockstep, hopefully. Okay. No. The first thing Luca has to do is refresh his wall. That's important. But Sonia has a good wall up, so... No, I skipped Henshin and the, the revive last turn, so Henshin. Now confusion protection. Ha! Death protection saved Sonia. Now Lime gets confusion protection on everybody, and we are safe for the rest of the battle. Just pound on her until she dies. Alright. <laughs> That's the confusion again. Just last turn I put immunity down though. Alright, here we go. Sonya gets to attack this turn. Luca gets to get automatic crits. Obviously, she isn't as good as Luca is, but it's a significant boost. I suppose I should mention there was another significant buff that Luca had on him before. When one of my characters dies, an ability activates that gives all the other characters significant buffs. 
But unfortunately, to keep getting that buff, you have to keep having characters die. I think that's the last one for Sonia's run. I'll have to keep my eyes peeled for the pop-ups that say her effects are ending. What? Oh great, Sonia died again. Her wall ran out. Perhaps the appeal in hind characteristics were not a good idea after all. Alright, let's try to resurrect Sonia again. And this is the effect of that buff and having a dead character out. What? Okay, Elias managed to kill the Shinigami with her attack, which was not actually something I expected. So there you have it. Regular characters beating the Shinigami. The Shinigami doesn't have anything new to say. But you'll notice we didn't get the items that she drops. Now, eventually I'm going to do stealing from her because unlike most bosses she has things to steal, but I've accomplished my purpose for today, so I'll see you later, YouTube.